Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Smith from Backbench Code. Hai. So in the last video, we have created this project page. The only part is left is this project snapbar. So in this section, we are gonna create this project snapbar. So let me just go to the final version. Here it is. So this is my project snapbar. It looks simple, but I need to add some functionalities here. So let's start by creating the UI. So just go to the component, the projects component, the projects.tsx. Here is my snapbar, but I am gonna create a separate component for this project snapbar. So just go to the components folder and create project snapbar, the name of the component. Dot tsx cool refc. Here it is. Nice. And it will return all the nav items. But I am also gonna create a separate component for this nav item. Because I need to add some functionalities on this nav item. Here this React Mongo Express Django are separate nav item. So let's create a separate component. I'll be creating that component inside this file. Let's name this nav item. So underscore RFC again, RFC only. Okay, projects. This is what. Uh huh. Nav item. Let me just zoom in. Cool. Close this sidebar. Nice. So it will just return a list item. Uh huh. Not div. List cool. It will also get the value as the property. So we'll just use TypeScript. So this nav bar is a functional component. At this point, you are familiar with this. Okay, just use generic. Inside an object, just you know, define the property, define the type of the property, not property. So value string, but no, it's not string. It will be actually a category because we have also defined the type category. Remember, just go to types.ts. These are all the separate category, React, Node, Express, Django, right? So we are going to specify the type as the category. So this is not string, this is category. Cool. Let me just import this. But auto import did not work. Cool. But remember, we are also using this all as the nav item. This all. And this all is not defined inside this category type. Inside this category type. Right. So we need to use all. It can be all. So small all. And then just grab this value. And just destructure this. Cool. And just return this value. Inside this list item. Cool. Save this. And now we can use this component. So inside this project snapbar, inside the div, I can pass nav item. Uh huh, nav item, come on, use sudo. Let's pass the value. Well, first one is all. Now look at this. If I just misspell this like a triple L, it will give me an error. Like a triple L is not assignable to type React, Node Express, Django, Mongo, all. So that's the beauty of TypeScript. Okay, fine. Just copy this, copy this, copy this, copy this, copy this. Just change this to React. Then this is Mongo. Then this is Django. Anything else? Node. And remove this all. Cool. Save this. Nice. So just go to projects.tsx and import this project snap bar. Remove this snap. We don't need that. Project snap bar. Oops. Save this. Let's see. Go to localhost 3000. And here is my navbar, all React Mongo Django node. Let's add some sexy tailwind. Go to this project navbar. Go to this div, the wrapper div, add class name. First of all, I'll make this flex, give some space between the items, so space x, around 3 unit. Padding x, 3 unit. Padding y, 2 unit. And list decoration none, so list none. Nice. And control the overflow, so overflow x scroll. Cool. It's flex actually. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. Save this. And now just go to our nav item. Target this list. Add class name. Cursor pointer of course. And on hover, I'll make the text green. So hover. Text green. Cool. And I'll also make the first letter capitalize. So for that, I'll be using the class name capitalize. Cool. Save this. Let's see. Here it is. Oh, I don't want the scroll bar. Uh, uh, uh. This is overflow X. Oh, it should be auto. Make this scrollable only if it's needed. Okay, save this. And now it should look beautiful. Yeah, on hover the text is green. And my scroll bar is gone. Nice. And let's talk about the functionalities. Okay. So the idea is we need to create a state in our projects component that will hold all our projects. 
and then if I click on any of these items, for example React, it will just filter out all the projects made using React and then reset the state. And if I click all, the state will be reset with all the projects, simple. So let's do that. Let's create a state, go to this projects.tsx, our parent component. Uh-huh, use state. Up. The name of the state is what? Projects. And this is set projects. Cool, import the use state. And the initial state. This will be an array and the array is this projects. The data you have imported. Cause by default this will be all. And all will contain all the projects. And this is showing red that is because this has the same name. So I just need to rename this. So here is a trick in VS code. Just use fn and f2 and rename this. So projects data and replace these projects with this projects data. Cool. Save this. And then we are also mapping over these projects which is our state. So we don't need to change that. Cool. So we have created our first state. And let's create the handler. So const handle filter category, the name of the function. Arrow function, cool. So I'll trigger this function every time a nav item is clicked. So if I click react, I'll pass the react. If I click mongo, I'll pass the mongo. If I click all, I'll pass the all. Right, so let's handle this. So the data is coming as category. The type is not string, but category or all. It can be all. Category, I need to import that. So control and space, imported. And by the way guys, notice that inside this projects number, I have also imported this category. So this is simple, but yeah, just import that. Cool. Okay, so if this is all, if the category is all, in that case, I need to handle this in a different way. So basically, if this is all, I'll set the projects with the projects data again. And I'll also make the active item as all. So for that, I also need to create another state. So this is again new state. The name of the state is active, which will hold our active item. So this is all. Cool. Save this. So if the category is all, I'll make the set active item as all again. Or set active, not active item. All. Oops. Sorry. Or just category. Whatever you want. You can make this all. You can make this category. And then just return. Cool. Else. If this is not all, in that case, I'll grab this project's data and just filter out all the projects. So grab every project and check if the project dot category, the category field, if the category field includes hint, 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 I don't want any hint. If the category includes the category, the category coming as the argument, just return that project to save this. So basically inside this category field, let me just go to data.ts. See if you press react, it will just grab all these projects, go over every project and check this category field. If this category field includes the react, it will store that and at the end it will return the new array. So I just need to grab this array, go to projects.tsx. Okay, grab this, let's name this new array because we can't directly mute the state. So set the projects with this new array new array cool also make the set active with the category nice and now we just need to pass this handle filter category function to the nav bar so here is my nav bar here it is handle filter category is handle filter category it is showing red because i need to accept this property just go to projects nav bar mm -hmm. Actually, I need to pass this prop to this nav item, right? So just grab this as props and we can just forward this. Props. Select every nav item and just forward the props. So inside the brace dot 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 props. Nice. And then inside this nav item, you can just grab this value. So the property name is handle filter category, which is a function. Cool. Just destructure this handle filter category. Nice. And trigger this function if this list item is clicked. So on click a nice arrow function, handle filter category, cool, and just pass the value. Nice, really nice. Save this. Uh -huh. This is showing a an warning. And if you want to get rid of this warning, you can again use some TypeScript. So function component, 
inside this generic you can just use you know handle filter category is a function that's it save this the warning is gone that's it should work nice okay so you don't have any style for the active item but let's try to click on react oh ho, it works so these are all the projects made using react click on mongo this is the only project made using mongodb and here is the django and here is my node nice okay now let's handle this active item see if the item is active in that case i need to show the active item in green color just go to nav item here is my nav item here is my nav item actually you can use the conditional class inside this class name but but it will be messy so what i am gonna do i'm gonna cut this class name and at the top i'm gonna create a new variable name this oh, not bar let class name and paste this here nice and if the active item is same as this value i'm gonna add a new class so for that i need to get access to the active state and how can i get access to the active state i need to pass the state come on it's simple property drilling in sort so here is my active item right yeah so i'm gonna pass this active where's my navbar here it is active is active cool uh yeah this is showing red because i need to accept this property go to project snapbar mm -hmm. here i'm getting all the props that is fine but inside this generic just get the active and this is string you can make this category but that is fine okay and you are just forwarding this and grab this category here category as string cool this structure the active not active active bro cool and now i can compare this so if the active is same as value in that case the class name is class name plus equal to that's my tab 9 ei base auto completion text screen remember to put a space before this text screen here is the space because these are gonna concatenate right and now just pass this class name here inside this brace pass the class name nice and here is my all which is active go to react react is active go to node node is active again click on all the state should be reset here it is so with this i think i am done with the projects page i need to refactor the style i guess yeah but we are gonna do that in the last part of this project so hold on we are not finished yet with the tailwind css and I also need to change the scroll bar color, that is not a big deal. You can just use scroll bar thumb and just change the color. So that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.